In an effort to raise awareness about the problem of food wastage, the Star New Media in collaboration with Taylor's School of Hospitality and Giant Hypermarket have embarked on a green project called Waste Not, Want Not. Okay, basically Giant is, um, is part of a corporate social responsibility to always improve the lifestyle of the community they live in. We, we want to champion um, less wastage and also and the environment. I mean, we always want people I mean, to, to help preserve the environment. Look at our stores, we, we have uh, we very use very little electricity, we open up the, the ceilings and we also have a very uh, efficient use of um, air conditioning for this particular store. So it's always about the environment that we want to get in touch with and we always want to tell people to, not to waste a lot of wastage and when and when we can partner with Taylor's College to help educate new chefs and the young people how to minimize wastage so we find this very attractive and also it's part of our social responsibility to go out and distribute I mean to make the lives better for the students and in the schools in Taman Medan mm -hmm. and so part of our project to sponsor schools we are around we're going around sponsoring our schools in terms of textbooks meals milk and also um, going to improve their, their their learning facilities like the labs. We have to do this kind of community projects. So when we saw this opportunity to do it, we took it. Now. Launched in conjunction with World Earth Day on April the 22nd, the project's objective is to enlighten young people about food production and also how to fully optimize food resources, with the students following the route of food from farm to store. The project will also see a group of Taylor's culinary students setting up an open kitchen to feed poor students. You know, kids are quite choosy nowadays, so still have to, there's a lot of planning to do. Waste Not Want Not kicked off with the Taylor students making a tour of the giant hypermarket in Puchong to learn the whole process of food production from the professionals. Well, I think it's really an eye-opener eye -opener thing for all of us to see how they choose their stocks, how they purchase their stocks, and how they really handle their stuff. And the Giant is really different compared to other places. It's really organized and neat, and how they handle their stuff. Okay, so has this uh, changed your impression of like uh, how you go food shopping now these days, you know? Like, yeah. Yes, actually did, uh, because uh, see how they handle the food. Like the one that is not really nice and not really presentable, they will actually trim it and repackage it again. So it actually changes uh, our concept of supermarkets. And we need to tell uh, to the students how to can how you can save the food. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, right then, when you receiving the product itself, the first day you receive the product, what kind of store, transportation you get it, how you storage, how long you can storage the product itself. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this is the learning process from college, from the college, right? It's always beginning from 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 from, from the college. When, when the students are educated, when they go and work with uh, hotels or restaurants or uh, food productions or shopping malls, they have this knowledge given to them, and they they, they automatically they know how to save. With Giant Marketing Director Ho Man Hao as our host, we are able to see the whole process of food production from transportation, receiving, cold storage and packaging, all the way through to the display shelf. We bring a student from the receiving area, receiving and teach them how Giant, Giant is very particular about not breaking the cold chain. Because uh, if you break the cold chain, the freshness of produce cannot be maintained. So we, we told the students that it's important that we ensure all the delivery trucks are sent, are sent in refrigerated trucks and straight to the, to the processing room, the packing room and, that, and straight to the selling floor. Then we also bring the students to the cold room, teach them a bit about how the stores are being, are being stocked and how we ensure the cold room's temperature are maintained all, at all times and the cleanliness of the cold room. And then we bring them also to the, we show them the, the, the actually three different cold room um, the produce, the F and uh, F and is fruit and vegetables, uh, chicken, meat, and seafood. These are all different uh, kept in different cold rooms to avoid uh, cross uh, cross contamination. Because different cold rooms, like I told you, chicken water and, and 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 seafood water is very contaminated. We cannot keep in the same same cold room. So just to <coughs> make the students aware of this, even when they start cooking or they start. Because there's a lot of scene they don't see in the hypermarket, you see on the selling floor, but there's a lot of measures we take behind the back of the co uh, back room to make sure our, f our produce are safe for consumption and also fresh. During the course of the tour, we are also able to see just what Giant does with its edible food of no commercial value. 
Okay, just to recap, Waste Not Want Not is a green project against wastage of food which is currently rampant in our communities. The project, launched in conjunction with World Earth Day on April the 22nd, will involve getting young people to understand food production and how to optimize food resources. The project will also involve the setting up of an open kitchen by Taylor's culinary students over the course of six weeks to feed students in two poor schools in Taman Medan and SMK Puchong. So stay tuned for a series of videos where we will be following the students from the packing house in Ganting all the way to feeding the kids. So remember, take care of the earth or you may end up looking like this. This is Zach Yusof, the Star New Media.